ready to start because it's 6.30. And it's in there. We've got four boxes, two big heavy ones, so maybe these are food. This, these are from um, Amazon and Amazon. One's Am another. The third one's Amazon, and the fourth one. As soon as I show you the box, you'll know what what's in it. So we'll do these big ones first. I'm guessing. I'll look and then tell you what I'm guessing. Ooh, wow! We hit the jackpot. Cool. Let's see if there's some names on these. I hope, I hope. Oh, this is from Kathy B., who lives in Texas. Says to Jackie and the volunteers, thanks for all you do and providing loving homes for the wonderful kitties. And so this is all from Kathy B. 12 um, from Texas. Wow, just looking in here is like huge. What are you doing? <laughs> Someday we're going to ship this little boy out to all of you and let you guys all fight over who's going to keep him. Ooh, Kathy, this is awesome. There's there's uh, three boxes of fancy feet. <laughs> one classic, one grilled, and another one grilled. And uh, this is this is awesome. This will come in big time, big time use. Mm. Thank you, Kathy. And this one's the poultry and beef feet. The grilled. Does this have the chicken? Yeah, the chicken feet and gravy is the one that um, I like. That really wasn't very nice. You two blackies, you don't do that to each other. And the seafood. And this is grilled. It's tuna, salmon, and seafood feet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kathy. There's something about that easy piece. And perfectly fish. And this one's perfectly chicken. Cool. You know what these are? These are those little packet ones. And uh, they love all these. The chicken one is the one that's super juicy, which is very important when you're feeding kitties. So thank you, Kathy. This is great. Wow, that's a big bunch of cat food. You'd think our storage room would be full to overflowing, and it is. It's, it's well, I mean, we got, we keep getting it stuck because of you guys, but we sure do use an awful lot. I think one day we should have the kitties pass for a whole day. That's or make them eat just dry food. Yeah. They would think we were killing them. We save on litter too. Just think about that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, Octavia would have a thing or two to say about that. Oh wow! Here you go, guys. This I'm not sure who. If this is from Kathy. Also, I don't see any tapes on it. Oh, but wait, we might have it on. Hi there, Picasso. Might stay on this one. No, it doesn't. So I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I can look on there. Does anybody claim this? Oh, we've got four cases of it in here. It's uh, fancy feet tuna. Oh, tuna, tuna. Oh, is this all tuna? Wow. That would be cool, too. Yeah, this is the tuna and the egg sauce. Gosh, you better not fall and land on the kitty. Yeah, it's four cases of tuna. Did we say did we, four cases of, of tuna? Friskies. Anybody claim it? Can you get all that? As he stumbles and falls. Okay, well, whoever sent this is awesome too. Thank you, thank you. The cats will love that. The tuna. We love it all. 
the other day I sat on the knee, every bit of, every scrap of it, and when I was scraping the place up, there was a big, kind of a big chunk left, and so I went to scoop it and show it to somebody, and it was a piece of, it was a stone. So no wonder they didn't eat it. He, do you have four pieces of tuna? Yeah. Thank you. This one is also from Amazon. I have to tr you give some of that tuna for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, this is one of those 32 packs. You kiddies, you're not going to go hungry. Uh-oh, we don't have one on this one either. 32 pack of the uh, seafood friskies. Anybody claim this one? <laughs> so we'll write that down and maybe maybe somebody will let us know who that is from too. It's uh, Frisky's, the blue one, seafood, and so that's like a case and a half of it. Thank you. Big time thanks. The kitties love it. Oh, there's the kitty. You guys have been asking for. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Cobbis. I'm telling you, this little boy is a stinker. Just show him how cute you are. See? Yep. Yeah. See, I'll take on anybody and everybody. He he is a stinker. I don't know why they all just love you, but they do. All right, this is the one that's been uh, making me hungry all day. This is from our webcam friend, Kelly R., who set us up with that gift box that comes once a month. And uh, it's, it's uh, fruit. In the last month, we got peaches which were the best peaches I have ever, ever tasted. Oh, all right, what's up with this? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the size of those. Oh, and they're just right. Oh, these are really nice, Kelly. Thank you. I have a list in my desk, but of course my desk is completely taken apart right now of what comes each month. But, oh uh, yeah. Kurt's going to eat one of these. He likes tears. Thank you, Kelly. Hello. Kelly R. I wonder if there's a card in there, but I know, I know for sure this is from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. We'll add this also up in our one um, pin where we have the things from yesterday for the volunteers. Here we could just do this, Kurt, so everybody can get it. Yeah. Thank you, Kelly. That'll be really nice. I might have to have one of those tonight. So, I didn't write down a whole lot of stuff here. In fact, I didn't write down hardly much of anything. So let me go over my things here and it's just real quick, and then we're going to try the, the question and answer thing on the chat line today. Uh, our floor has got its fourth layer, and I was really worried because they ha they want to come in tomorrow morning and put the mop boards on and put the reset the stool, but of course it has to be 100% dry because they'll be walking in and kneeling down on it. And this morning when they came real early to do it, it was still just a tiny bit tacky. So we asked us to turn the heat up today, and uh, which we did. We've all been sweltering in here trying to keep the heat in the in the four rooms to dry it. And a little bit ago, Stacy and I was looking at it, and it looks like it's really wet yet. It's real shiny. But we put a little finger on it, and it's dry. It's hard. So I'm sure they'll be able to do that tomorrow. So then this weekend sometime we'll be able to move back in and I will be so happy because we've been torn up in here all week it seems like. So the floor the floor is really, really going to be nice. Um, Nuki, somebody asked about Nuki and she's better. I think tonight we'll put her in Cat's corner room with the other babies. We put her separate all day so that we could keep track of her 
her boo-boo on her leg. It got a little bit nasty last night, but we got it all cleaned up again and had a dressing with um, medicine on it all day. Just took it off a little while ago, and she's eating really, really good. So she's going to be fine, but we'll put her in there in, um, where Bella's room is. And CJ, our cat, we've kind of done it some today, but we need to do it more, is uh, she comes out here and sits on this, but we need to have her explore more. So today a couple times, some of the cat furniture behind me, we put her over there. But she needs to start expanding her horizon and uh, start moving away from here a little bit. So we'll, we'll work on that a little bit more tomorrow. And Yuki, I did, I have your um, bird seed bag. It's in a box and it's in my truck. And I will mail that out to you tomorrow. So you'll get it maybe, maybe Monday, maybe Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll get that to you. I've got it all ready to go. So one of the questions I quickly wrote down was, hey, and, and Yuki, I wanted to mention, that yes, Garsh, because that's what you said too. I'm glad that your hand slipped when you were writing your check and I appreciate that for the bird seed bag. Um, Cat Lover had asked where where we found Weasley and Weasley was found in a yard by four high school kids. So I'm not sure if that meant something to someone about that. So we've got our chat line down here and we'll try to do that today. Oh, I have one card. Yep, got one card. And this is from, I've been mispronouncing it all the time. I thought it was Gusty, but I understand it's Goosey. And Goosey's birthday is today, I think, in Germany. And uh, we'll open this. Oh, Goosey sent a donation to the rescue center. And on the outside of the little envelope, it says, For the little kitties. Um, for the little kitties of 22. I'm not sure what that is. One of them is, is Donna. Third line. Cat's Corner Room. <laughs> well, the donation is for um, those babies, which is one is of, Do of uh, uh, Donna, which Goosey named uh, that kitty. Aw, this is really cute. It's a little card with the sunshine and six kitties on it. It says, um, may the kitties have a good and long life. Thank you to all who work work with them. Goosey. Thank you, Goosey. And I think it's your birthday today. I appreciate your donation for the kitties. We will put that to very good use towards the kitties care. And, okay, we're going to try this. So, uh, if you have any questions, just put them up there. But don't bombard it too fast because I won't be able to answer them all. How do people adopt from us? Do you just give us a call uh, or go through our website and you'll get the address and the phone number and we do a pre-adoption um, thing over the phone and, and um, we just go from there. When did you start the webcam, Yuki asked? It, this, about right now, two years ago, about this month, but we had some starts and goes there at the beginning. How is Kurt Will? Whoops. Uh, Bubba asked, "How is Kurt William doing?" And he's doing awesome. His his real name now is Curdy Willie. <laughs> I love it. He's a great cat. <laughs> I love him. He's he's just a cool cat. He's his he uh, collars on him. He does good. He doesn't mess with it. But we're not going to take it off for a little while. But he's doing he's doing really great. Okay. When. Okay, if you had a question that I missed, you might have to pop it back up there again. 
Have you talked to PJ about Grandma Neat? No, I haven't, but we left her know that if she's interested to let us know, and if she isn't, that that's okay too. Yes, thank you, Goosey, for your card. And Curdy Willie. <laughs> can we see little Don, uh, Donna? Let me see if I can grab her. This is Donna and her sister. <sighs> oh, who is your name? I forget. <laughs> yeah, Shalan. <laughs> this is the one that Brucey named. Isn't that adorable? That face is just way too cute. And then Shalan was named by Bella. And they are going to go back in Cat's Corner Room to spend the night there. They've been out almost all day. Aww, what are you doing to Sarah? You be nice to Sarah. And Bella's, Bella's going to spend her first night outside of the room. She's doing really, really good. Oh, she is learning too much from Weasley, yes. Yeah. So many kitties. And Cobbett, where did he go? Trying to get everybody. <laughs> We're going to put him up for auction. Anybody bid a dollar on him? <laughs> He's a nut. Okay. Thank you, Severin. How is the hunt for new resident vet going? Any chance of reopening the clinic anytime soon? And um, first off, I'll get that, but where will ba Badu be spending the night? Badu sleeps right out here with everybody else. You know, right now I'm, I'm putting the clinic on hold. Uh, I've got so much going on between the rescue center and things in my life right now that I just really don't have time and I'm just going to put it on hold. We've done almost 15,000 surgeries for Earth Angels in those six and a half years and I'm just going to be pleased and happy with those stats for right now. I know spaying and neutering is the most important thing to eliminate all the overpopulation problem that we see in here and in all shelters, but for right now, um, time permitting, I'm, it's all on hold, and I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Uh, people have, have still been calling, and we've been just referring them to their full service vet. Yeah, this is Cabas. <laughs> How are things going with Badu's home? Uh, and I think that they, I did talk to that family, I think that they are not going to go with Badu. So we're just kind of on hold right now for that second cat for them. And uh, Badu's actually been doing much, much better, I think. I think he, she's been, don't you think she's been doing much better? And uh, you're going down, dude. Um, we're just going to maybe, if we bite a little more time, that she'll even, even be happier yet. But the last two weeks, she's just been doing awesome, I think. And <laughs> why does Steve... Mad your box is with you? Aw, because uh, he works like 16 hours a day, and when he comes home, he wants to relax. He's in there right now watching TV, and he will be going to, he just got home about an hour ago, and he will be going to bed in about an hour. So, of course, he needs his rest as much as what he can. He gets um, up earlier than you. He what? He gets up earlier than yeah, you. Yeah, he gets up, he gets up at one thirty in the morning, people, so he's, he's always busy. He's always tired. Could you put CJ in with Bella so she is the biggest kitty? <laughs> um, I don't know if CJ would like to be in Cat's Corner Room. Um, yeah, Bella probably wouldn't stand for it either. That's very true. How's Steve's knee new surgery date? This coming Monday is the 10 days are up. And at that point, they are required by law to give us some kind of an answer. So we still are under the assumption that they're going to probably tell us that he still needs to see a third doctor, which we can't set that up until they tell us. It's such a long, drawn-out affair thing. Um, but he's, he's working every day. He's using his grace, and he's, he's making through it right now. Do I see the new washer and dryer in the back, and are they working okay? The washer and dryer is a godsend. It's awesome. Coppice is being really naughty. 
Um, we love, love the washer and dryer, and I got a big kick out of Connie this morning. She's our Thursday morning volunteer. She loves doing the laundry. She's been one that's been milking that washer along to try to keep it going. She was thrilled when she came in this morning and saw the new washer, so we love it. Um, who was I holding? This one is Cinnabon. Yeah, Cinnab Workman's Comp is a big pain, yeah. Yeah, it's got this bit racer. <laughs> what happened to Clem's arm? Uh, a couple nights ago, she got up and she, her toe got stuck in her jammy pant leg and she fell, hurt her shoulder, hurt her arm. So she's uh, she's uh, resting it for a little while. But she, they say that she'll be just fine. Save up for the... Oh, no, the stands and the bases for the washer and dryer. You know, I, um, a couple people have asked me about that and I don't think we're going to do that. There's a real good reason. Most of us are a little bit short, and if you add this much more onto the bottom of those washers and dryers, um, we're not going to be able to reach up on top. So the con the the voting consensus was we do this. We were not going to go with those stems because uh, we would not be able to reach reach. Oh. oh. Uh, we would not be able to reach up and in the back of those. So um, this is a bad kitty tonight. Georgia was in my house somehow. I don't know how she got in there. But she was about ready to eat Einstein. Um, I think I missed some things. I'm so sorry. Can I meet, see the Siamese kitty, please? Oh, you mean Asha? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that pathetic or what? You see that through the window? This is Asha. Oh. She's our sweetie pie. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. We love her to pieces. Oh, Dave and Sunoco sent the four cases of frisky. Can you write that down, Stacy, for me? Oh, thank you, Dave, and your kitty, Sunoco. Tuna, too. I wonder if that's the Noko's favorite. Aw, we love you, Asha. <laughs> Aw, isn't she wonderful? I remember when I first pulled her out of her crate that day that she came. We knew from that second there was nothing wild about her. And she she loves people. She loves everybody. And uh, oh yeah, if you guys ever come and visit, you can snuggle with Asha. Oh, uh, I think I need new glasses. Okay, are we all done with questions? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Would you accept help for a week volunteer? Did you see that? Heck yeah, we would. That would be awesome. We would love to have everybody. Anybody and everybody. We, we love visitors. We would love you guys to come. Okay, thank you everybody. Appreciate you guys being with us. Thank you, Dave and Sunoco and, you, and uh, Kathy B and Goosey. Thank you so much for your donations. And keep voting. I can't vote right now because my computer's one's dead, one's down. And the third one is being used for for in here, so I can't vote right now. So please, please keep up with the voting for us. There you go, Asha. Molly, well, baby's in here now. Yeah, let's do. Uh, I, I can't find the orange one. You can't find Weasley? I did earlier. Oh, oh, wait, I see. I see. Is he out here? Not, yeah, behind the box, over by the counter. Oh. Yeah, we still don't know that one though, do we? Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay, David Sinoco. Yeah, okay. Thank you for writing that. You're the secretary at the